Hi, my name is Brandon with SalesPad, and this is a short video on our Sales Document Mass Update module. What Sales Document Mass Update can be used for is if you have a batch full of documents, or maybe it's uh, multiple batches of documents that you need to make changes to. Maybe you need to make a change to something on the document header. Maybe you want to add uh, an individual line item to each of those documents. They can all be done through our Sales Document Mass Update module. First thing I want to cover is uh, the security around Sales Document Mass Update. So if I go to my admin menu here and go to Security Editor, you will see that we have a Sales Document Mass Update security setting. So if I click on that, you can see that we do have some security settings around here. Things like you can change uh, the audit if you want, uh, when you make a change to the document and you want it to show in the audit log, you can change that. You can do things like uh, forward documents through workflow, allocation, printing. Um, you can allow credit card transactions to be done through the module. Uh, the main ones I was going to show were the sales batches allowed. So what this would be is you could actually, based on your security group, uh, allow them to have access to only specific batches. And same thing, sales document types allowed. So maybe you don't want uh, your customer service group to have access to invoices. You would click on your customer service group and then just choose quotes, orders, returns, or your sales document types that you want them to have access to through sales document mass update. And then warehouse is allowed as the last one. So maybe you, you don't want users in one location uh, looking at documents in sales document mass update that exist in another location. That's where you would put in a list of your warehouses that would be returned in the search results. So that's the security around the sales document mass update. As you can see, I had the tab up there, but a couple different places you can access it is just on our main ribbon right here. So you'll just see sales document mass update. Or if you just go to your modules menu and then sales, also sales document mass update. So when I open up my sales document mass update module, you'll notice right under the tab, there's quite a few options you have available to you. Um, close search, those these are pretty self-explanatory. These are available in a lot of the sales pad modules. So just close the tab or search based on when you, when you put in a batch here. Uh, print. If you want to print that batch of documents or print your search results, that's what this print button would be used for. Transfer to invoice. So if you click on that, that'll actually transfer your selected documents below to an invoice. Clicking on the forward button will actually move that document from one batch to the other uh, based on what you specified in workflow. So say for example, if I go to workflow setup here, in new order, if I have a document in the new order batch and you hit forward, it would then move the document based on workflow rules to the complete batch. So that's what the forward button in here is used for. Allocate or unallocate, pretty self-explanatory, will allocate inventory to that sales document or unallocate inventory from that sales document if you're using our blocked items. Email and fax are pretty self-explanatory. If you have both of them set up within SalesPad, you can email your list of documents in your search results or fax them. Update documents, I'll show that here in a second, but once you make a change in your document property section, that'll actually go through your, your documents that you've selected in your search results and update them. Add line will allow you to add a line item to multiple documents that are in your search results and then send to batch. Works a little different than forward, where forward's gonna use workflow. Send to batch, what I'll show here in a little bit, will actually allow you to move the document to a specific batch, um, not, not actually using workflow. So let's go to the sales batch field here. And again, we still have our, our options available on the right here, which this is gonna look very similar to the sales batch processing module if you've ever used that. So you could either key in, just type in new order, or your batch name, which mine is new order. Or if I click my drop down, you can actually search for your batch here as well. So you can see new order is now checked. And then you have selected documents only, forward after print, and forward after email. 
So I search my new sales batch here, new order, and this shows me all my, my results in here. So I'm getting documents that are in the new order batch, but also in the new DC order. So it not only does a an exact match of the batch name, but also looks where any of those words are in here. So new order, new DC order, okay? So if I right click on my column header here and go to column chooser, I'm gonna pull in my salesperson ID field here. Okay, so we can see that Aaron J is a salesperson on all these documents. Now let's say Aaron J is no longer with my company and I need to change this salesperson. What I can do is, since I have selected documents only, I can highlight all these, or the same thing, if I uncheck select documents only, it will choose all these documents as well. And then I can just go into my document property section. I'm gonna change the size here a little bit so you can see better. But you'll notice that this document property section, this entire section is just like the sales document entry screen. So what changes you make up in here will actually reflect all of your documents that you've, you have in your search results below. One thing I wanted to mention is that in the document property section here, like I said earlier, this is just like the sales document entry screen. If I right click on here and go to customize layout, you can actually add any of your sales document user defined fields as well. So say for example, you wanted to update the, um, the shipping account number on all of these, on all of the sales documents you're making changes to. This layout is just specific to the sales document mass update layout. And so you can up mass update user defined fields on all your sales documents as well. So for example, like I mentioned earlier, Aaron J is no longer with my company. I can click my sales rep drop down and let's say it's now going to be, uh, we're going to just put this on the house account. So I'll choose house. And again, I don't, I don't have select documents only check. So once I'm done making changes to all my orders here, I can just hit update documents and it's going to give me this confirmation screen to ask if I want to update the three documents. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes here. And so now it's basically making those changes. And now you can see it's set the field of salesperson ID to house. So now if you look down below here, it changes your results and now you can see that the salesperson ID on this document is now house. The next feature I want to show is add line. So if I click the add line button, this will actually ask me if I want to add lines to all three of these sales documents. And if I hit yes, it's actually going to allow me to key in my item number. So if I want to do 100XLG here, it's going to pull in the default. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now it's adding that 100 XLG to all three of these orders. So if I click on one of them now, you can see that it adds an 100 XLG to the end of the order. The last option I'm gonna show here is the send a batch. So if I click send a batch here, it's actually gonna ask me to choose my document ID. So I'm gonna choose my walk-in document ID. Hit okay. So now you can see it shows two of my documents in my search results here. Yeah, I'm just go ahead and highlight both of these and hit OK. And now you can actually choose to what batch you want it to go to. So if you want it to go to complete without actually going through workflow, you can do that. Or you could key in your own batch here. So if I want to do uh, today's the 27th, so let's do 2714 invoice. We're going to invoice that batch. Hit OK. It's going to be a warning. It's going to create a new batch. We'll hit yes. So now next time I search, these are no longer in here. And if I search my 8, 27, 14 in batch, you can see that both documents are now in here. So that is everything I have on the sales document mass update module. I appreciate you watching this video and we have many more videos available on our website at www.salespad.net.